Hello, hello. Today is a big circuit workout, full body movements. Um, starting with a natural movement series for the warm up, just to kind of get your body ready, willing and able to do the rest of the work. So the way that that is gonna um, go is you're gonna start in a seated position. Just gonna have your hands back to support you a little bit, and you're just gonna rotate from side to side, getting some hip mobility going. You're gonna go two times to each side. From there, you're gonna come down to the center. You're gonna roll down on your back and just four gentle bridges. And from there, you're gonna bring your arms up, your feet up, and go for four dead bugs. So just notice that it's only one arm and one leg that's moving. The other stay nice and sturdy. From there, you're gonna lengthen everything out. Lead with one leg as you roll onto your stomach. Lead with that same leg as you roll back. From there, you're gonna hug everything in. Roll up. You're gonna bring one hand behind you. Use that hand to support you as you mindfully move over and on to all fours. From there, you're gonna just do some right, child's pose reps. Back to it. Well, unless of course you're drawing back. Sick. This is like the and then four. Day, I think. The day after Super Bowl Sunday. Finding uh, hips over knees. Point, Sirius XM. Jessica Shoulders. Shaw's started or you can finish right there so once you are here again you would then uh, come back to here for those child pose again but they really did a great job with this one so I'm a big fan also on Friday the series we are of 10 15 and then up at the visuals of that to fully appreciate the joke you could actually do this part before you go into the child pose adult comedy playing versions of the From there, as 13 year old as you're going to use the other hand to support you as you move back to seated, uh, lengthen cool. through the spine, That's awesome. uh, and then roll down to proceed to roll over, over again. Amazon, which stars John Sim from Doctor Who as a sheltered London professor who tries to unravel the mystery behind his wife's sudden death. And then Dead bug. On Sunday, we've got one arm, big thing, one leg only. The season premiere of The Walking Dead. Now, of course, without Andrew Lincoln on AMC. Oh. And also, Sunday night, Bridge. Grammys on CBS. Ooh. The wonderful Alicia Keys is hosting the 61st annual Grammys. Uh, just great performance. And then here in the lying position, do those side to side. To people, 8 to 11.30 east on Openers CBS. twice to each side. <laughs> You can throw those into the first uh, round that we did too. Very nice. Thank you so much. And then again, you're gonna roll up, and you're gonna finish with the same thing, and you're right back where you started. So that is just one um, sequence of a natural movement series. Super fun. All right. So on to the first circuit, which is all about the lower body, and what you're gonna start with is some crab walks. So if you've got one of these great little bands, you're gonna put it about a third of the way up your calf. You're gonna walk sideways for the length of the hallway, depending on where you're working out. 
12 to 15 paces one direction, 12 to 15 paces the other direction, um, if you're not looking at just a straight hallway. If you don't have one of these handy uh, circle bands, one thing that I recommend is that you can just hold some dumbbells against your legs and then walk it out. Not quite the same resistance, but still gets the job done and again, helps use the upper body a little bit more too. Um, also, if you don't have a closed loop, but you have a band with handles or just like a, a length of resistance band, you can always step on that, hold it at your hips or over your shoulders, depending on what length it is, and then just do those walks as well. Very good glute workout. From there, what we're gonna do uh, is hip thrust. And with the band, if you have it, only if you have a closed loop one will this work. So if you don't, not a big deal. But if you do, I want you to put it above your knees. <clears throat> and you can do these from the floor too, so if you don't have a bench, no worries right from the floor. Otherwise, if you've got the bench or if you've got kind of a firm couch that you can use as a bench of such, you're gonna take a nice heavy weight, lay it here, use your neck in neutral, and then drive down, drive up. So lower down, press it up. This is one exercise after the other. Crab walks and then those hip thrusts. You're gonna do um, up to 15 of both of those exercises. From there, you're gonna take the band off and you're gonna take it into a walking lunge with a hip extension. So that is gonna look like step drop, up lift. Step it through, up lift okay so you're gonna do a total of 16 of those so you can get some good balance practice in with that lower body work in the quads hamstrings and glutes from there we're gonna start to pick up the pace with the heart rate you're gonna come down nice straight back glutes are on for 25 plank jacks hold a nice straight strong plank bring it in and take it right into five burpees with a push-up Okay, five of those. That is the finish of the first round. You're then gonna take a break, up to a minute, 45 seconds to a, a minute, and then you're gonna repeat the whole thing over again. Total of four times. 15 on the crab walks or so, 15 on the hip thrust, 16 on the walking lunge, just to make it even on both sides. 25 plank jacks and five burpees. After you get through all four rounds, I want you to take a couple minutes rest. Recover, recover. Your heart rate's gonna be pretty high by then. And then we're gonna take it right into the upper body circuit. So for the upper body circuit, we're gonna start with eight push presses. So you're gonna want something a little bit lighter. Push press is the squat, like a half squat with a big press overhead. Catch as you come down. Try to catch it about cheek level so the arms are firing the whole time. Abs are in. With that squat, load your glutes and not your knees. Okay, so you're gonna do eight of those. From there, you're gonna come down for the plank row. You can do these with two weights or just one weight passing from side to side. 16. Activate your abs and your glutes to minimize hip rotation. As you shift that weight from side to side, pulling up, pulling up, setting down, setting down, your hips are gonna wanna turn side to side. And we wanna just try to minimize that. You're gonna get much more out of it um, in your core. You can minimize and resist that. From there, same weight, you're gonna come down hold into a bridge and do a chest press. Okay, when you're in that bridge position, make sure you squeeze your glutes so you keep the pressure out of your low back. 
you should be working with some pretty heavy weight with all of these. You're gonna do 10 of those. Then you're gonna come up to standing, take it in to 25 regular jumping jacks, big range of motion with those arms and legs. And then again, right into the five burpees. This time I want you coming all the way down to the ground and doing a Superman. And that's that, that's that round. You're gonna repeat three times after the first one. And I want you to take, this time you're, you're probably gonna want 60 to 90 seconds for rest in between each round because your heart rate's gonna be pretty elevated still from the first round because that is the circuit. It just gets a little bit more intense each time. Once you've done all eight rounds, you'll be left burning calories for hours upon hours upon hours. And the great thing about circuit workouts is they generally don't take as long as a straight tra strength training session. So I hope you really enjoy this. And if you're on limited time, you can always just do half this workout and count it as a full workout for yourself. It's really up to you. There's a lot of variability there. So enjoy.